So anyways, they had like David Beckham tell his favorite one and like a bunch of other people. But the one that struck me is Kit Harrington. So Jon Snow gets on then they go, John, like, Kit, what do you think of uh, the uh, the Game of Thrones reunion? And this is um, this is this is his film analysis of his favorite comedic scene of Friends. I can't quite be specific about which one, but I know I'm part of the Geller family. I'm oh, yeah, they say who they were. I'm neurotic as hell. <laughs> and I wear overly tight trousers <laughs> I think one of the reasons friends is so funny is the fact that these six actors are masters of physical comedy oh. there's a scene with David Trimmer where Ross has decided <laughs> not to pay for the delivery service of uh, sofa and they start taking the couch up the stairs and quite quickly everyone gets into trouble this is not something that's that's going to go up the stairs Turn. <laughs> and David Schwimmer starts telling them to pivot Shut up. Shut up. I mean, the thing about that scene is it's so simple. If you were to see it on the page initially, it's three actors carrying a couch up a stairwell. There's maybe a page of dialogue, and nothing really in that dialogue suggests anything massively comic. But what they do in that time in carrying that couch up those stairs is one of the funniest things I've seen on TV. All right, so. Um... <clears throat> now, I love me some Jon Snow, but this is a case of actors being up their own asses a little too much. There's a scene. It's, <laughs> it's a scene. It's so comedically brilliant. I was weeping. It's a scene where Ross and Chandler have to move a couch. <laughs> and when you look at the script, there's not much dialogue. It's not. It's nothing much to the dialogue, but the physical comedy where he says pivot. <laughs> I weeped like a child. It's brilliant. Simply brilliant. <laughs> there is a scene. It's Jennifer Aston. It's Rachel and Ross. And they go, we were on a break. <laughs> I was weeping. I, I named my first son Ross. <laughs> There's a scene. And this, it, I mean, really, but uh, don't, I mean, they're just, it's a lot to... <laughs> There's a scene in Toy Story where Buzz, Buzz and Woody, <laughs> I say, you've got a friend of me. <laughs> I was weeping like a child. The way Randy Travis. Because of the, the physical comedy. The physical comedy <laughs> of the of the dog in Old Yeller. <laughs> no, not Old Yeller, uh, Air Bud. <laughs> when he plays the basketball, I was weeping. Like a child, simply brilliant. What are other fucking stupid ass movies? <laughs> Tom Hanks, the way he loves that volleyball and it's castaway. The physical comedy <laughs> of him talking to a volleyball, simply brilliant. The volleyball. The dialogue do doesn't say. He anything. just says Wilson. <laughs> he says Wilson, but you feel that pain. He's got the hand. You feel that pain. Am I Michael Caine or Jon Snow? Um, is <laughs> Master Wayne. Um, <laughs> when Lightning McQueen says "Ciao." <laughs> <laughs> Simply brilliant. <laughs> it's not much to the dialogue. He's he's touring the road, <laughs> and Mater says, "Howdy, partner." <laughs> and you know they're gonna be friends. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I mean, really. So it's just like, listen. He could have just been like, "I liked Friends. It's a great popcorn show." Because Lucy's made me sit through some episodes, and they're not awful. They're objectively bad. But they're, they're not, not. No, no, no. Some of them make me chuckle objectively because there's yeah. They're objectively like as a, as a whole, nothing happens because they were too. It's the '90s. They're too broke to do anything, so they just stay in the same three spots. Nothing ever happens. Like, let's go to Central Perk and get some coffee. And they're like, <laughs> let's go upstairs to the same apartment. And then they had to write it. They had to write it so no matter what, someone was always in the main set, so they didn't have to change locations. <laughs> like, how about uh, Ross and Joey live together, and then Chandler moves in and Ross moves out, and they just go across the hall. It's just dumb. It's like Full House, but. Worse. <laughs> Full House made me cry a lot, though. Um, yeah, I mean that hits you in the feels. So, okay, you're you're beefing on these. You don't like Seinfeld. We'll we'll bring. Wait, up. wait, wait. Can I do Can I do my remix to the Friends song? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
So no one told you the Friends reunion was gonna be this gay. <laughs> <laughs> they're fat and broke. Their jokes. Their careers are DOA. <laughs> Warner Bros. is gonna do this every 10 years. <laughs> it hasn't been Matthew Perry's day, his month, or even his year. <laughs> I wrote that before bed. So. You wrote that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's my riff on it. That's gonna be the exit song for tonight. I love it. Today's. Whatever. <laughs>